Hey, YouTubers, what's poppin'? What's going on, everybody? East New York's finest, hosted by Mike. First off, I'd like to give a big shout out to everybody from uh, Florida. You know, my other YouTube family that I'm trying to get to know and support, be part of. One thing I've always been a big person that always try to support and be supportive and stuff up here on YouTube. Because uh, I learned a lot from people. Um, up here on, on YouTube that put me on to a lot of stuff a lot of sales and even as far as like looking at their videos on how nice their collections look and getting ideas from them and um, you know being that you know you know these people you know um, you know the OG of geeks Mike along with the crew of good old bits and buttons Dom which is the owner along with my boy uh, Humpty with two M's Diamond Dave, the the rough, the the diamond. I forgot. I, I already messed it up. And of course, Seth himself, Mister um, MC, MCE. So big props to everybody. I had to support, you know, um, um, you know, the OG of geeks, um, with the uh, with the film crew T-shirt. As soon as he said he was doing this, and it was only a limited time, I decided to get, be part of it because you know I always want to be part of a decent community. Uh, and these guys, they're great friends. They get along very well. I don't have that. I mean, I have great friends, but I don't have people that's in a hobby with me like this. You know, my boy Frank, you know, um, we were always like that with hot toys and stuff. But he's not into all this other stuff like I'm into. So, you know, every once in a while we sit back and we talk and stuff. But we used to go hunting together. We used to do a lot of that. And, you know, if this came in, I'd be like, yo, I got this and... You know, uh, he'll be like, oh, it came out already? And, and you know, it, and it was always back and forth. So it wasn't like we were competing. It was just always so... We'll be on the phone for hours talking about everything, including that kind of stuff. So I do miss that. I do like the toy hunting, but I don't have anybody I could just say, hey, you know what? Today I'll pick you up. Tomorrow you pick me up. Let's go hunting. I don't have that. You know what I'm saying? Like, all everybody... All, all people that's close to me that come to my house, they, they are intrigued. And they're like, wow, your shit is dope. But they don't get impressed no more because they, they all know... The shit I collect, and, and they knew, they knew, they knew me um almost, almost to over twenty years plus. So, you know, what I mean, I get new shit, but you know, they're not in. They, they find it intriguing, but they're not really into it like that. You know what I'm saying? So it is dope to see people that can go support each other with money, buy stuff for each other, and go hunting with each other. And it's just like a, you know, it's just dope. You know what I'm saying? And they just so genuine, like they, hey. The best metaphor I can use is, you know, birds of a feather flock together because they all seem very decent, genuine, you know, nothing is fake about them. And I like that. I miss that because I didn't have that in the one six scale community and or in the statue community because there's so much backstabbing hypocrites and nonsense. And my old channel, like my cousin Russell used to say, yo, you should have kept that shit anyway. And he, he's right. I'm always going to continue bringing that up because I would have quadruple the I would have in the thousands of views and um subscribers if I kept that old channel. I don't like drama, but I still should have kept that old channel. And I should have kept the old Mike Son 007 name, but it is what it is and I decided to get rid of all of it and I went with East New York's finest. I yeah, I'd be lucky if I get a comment or 10 or so views but I still keep going because I, I do it for the true fans and I do it because I just like doing it um, but anyway uh, big props out to the OG of Geeks Mike and everybody but I, I will tell you guys if you are a big heavy set person this 2X would fit you decent this 2X is really big for me it's a lot bigger than, let me look at this it's a lot bigger than what I expected I mean this is a true 2X Cause you know how sometimes like for instance this is a this Nike shirt is a one X and it fits me good, you know it fits me the way I like snug and you know right you know like it's baggy but at the same time fitted, you know what I mean I, I like that. Um, I'm just so used to like t-shirts like this you know like being a one X and then it fits like a large or you know what I mean if I'm lucky it'll be a two X and it'll fit me like a a one X, you know what I mean things like that. But this is a true. Like Brock Lesnar, Mark Henry type, <laughs> type two X. Like this is a real true two. -X. Look at this, this thing is fucking huge. But you know, um, these guys are big guys. These guys out of Florida, you know, outside of um, um, 
Dom from good old Bits and Buttons and Diamond Dave. Everybody else is big guys. You know, I lost a lot of weight, so I'm not like that no more. But if you look at my deltoids and shit, you can tell I, you know, I, I work out and I, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm trying to maintain. And if I could lose my stomach, I'd be good. But, you know, the chest, you know what I'm saying? The chest and everything is form and you see my forearms and, you know what I'm saying, biceps and shit. Everything is pretty decent, especially considering that I'm getting older. So it's pretty dope. But, you know, this thing is huge. It is for anybody out there, if you're like 200, if you're a certain height, let me put it this way. If you got man boobs, a big gut, and you're kind of on the big side, like, let me put it this way. This is probably the best way to do it. Because I want to, you know, I don't want to be disrespectful or make somebody think I'm, I'm being disrespectful. If you are, if you're like a, if you're like a 44 and bigger waist, this would probably fit you just a little baggier than this shirt I got on. See that? So, you know what I'm saying? Like, it'll, it'll fit you. It'll have good room. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's how big this is. Will I wear it? Yeah. I'll, I'm still going to wear it just, just to show support, but it is huge. So, just for anybody out there, if you're like a size 40, I'll put it this way. If you're like a 42 to like 40 waist, get yourself an extra large. If you're like a size 38 to a 36 waist, get a large. You know what I'm saying? If you're like a 32, 34, 32 waist, get a medium. Because this 2X is more like a 3X. More like a big a big and tall 3X. But again, not bad. Wanted to show support to the crew. And I'm only saying that the quality is great on this. Smells good. Brand new. And... I think it's called Cotton Heritage, which is a really, really good, prestigious um, t-shirt company. So it is 100% cotton, and it's really, really good quality, but it's big. So again, I'm only, I'm only, I only keep being repetitive with that word because I just want you to know, if you are a size, I'll say 46 to 42, you might want to consider a 2X. If you're like a 42 to like a 40, Unless you like your stuff baggy, I would get a 1X. If you're like a 38 to 36, you definitely want to get a large. If you're like a 34 and under, I would, I would suggest a medium. Unless you like big and baggy. Um, but yeah, anyway, I just want to give a shout out and support to my to my peoples down in Florida. To um, to the OG, to the, o, to the OG geek, uh, Mike, and everybody else out there. Growing up sucks, y'all. Film crew. So, had to show support. You know, it's, it's, it's a limited time on these. So I, I might need to speak to Mike again to see how he can go about getting me a size smaller. I, I will keep this one too, but I'm just going to have to get one that's slightly smaller so I can wear it a lot more out in public because I don't really like big. I was never much into like a big baggy kind of person. I, I never liked that kind of stuff. I like shit to fit me snug and stuff. But anyway, moving on to that, you know, show support and love to everybody. That's what YouTube is about. I feel as a collector and a person that comes up here and talk, it's all about it's just all about trying to help others and just, you know, enjoy the hobby. Cause we all understand how it is to get stuff. We all there's always something that, you know, that pops for nostal uh, for, for nostalgia for you. You know, we all have that. You know, um it, it just is what it is. I was about to get real deep, but I I'm gonna keep it to that because I, I don't wanna I don't wanna get too far off the bitten path here but anyway today the toy show is terrible it seems like everything is going backwards for me instead of instead of the hill climbing up the hill is you know well the building is crumbling down because the first toy show i did with this promoter it's not his fault but the first toy show i did with this promoter i did around 44 to 4800 that was at the edison show um last spring i'm about to say spring last spring and then two weeks after that, a little two, two and a half weeks after that, I did the first show I did with him at the Woodbridge Toy Show. I did 6,800. So then anticipating months, so almost four months later, back in um, August of two, uh, August 27th, I did the second Edison Toy Show, and I did just around 2,600, and I was complaining about doing that, which I shouldn't because today, you know, sometimes, you know, not only is the grass always greener, 
uh, in the sunlight versus the shade. You still have the same grass, but when you're in the shade, you don't you don't really you can't really concentrate and enjoy it. But when it's when the sun is blooming on it, you really see how beautiful and and and, and flourish it, and and stuff it is. Whatever the fuck what I'm using. Um, and all basically, you should always look at it. Better term, you should always look at the glass being half full instead of half empty. Because at the end of the day, same measurements, same size. It's just all about your perspective. And that's what I should have did. Because like um, the other Woodbridge Toy Show, I did this month. Well, last month, I did around seven, almost 1,700. I thought it was 14, but it was right around 17 because I brought some stuff too. And here it is. Today, I did terrible. Um, everybody, everybody was complaining. Everybody did bad. Um, even the uh, promoter didn't get as much people coming into the toy show. And when you're charging around five dollars after, t I mean, at ten o'clock per, you know, at the door, that's you know, if you got like a hundred and something people. That's not too good when you got to pay a hotel to um to ho to 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 hold that that show. That's not really that good for you. You know what I mean? And for us, it wasn't good neither. Everybody, you know, people did buy a lot of pops. Maybe 70 to 80% people there buying pops. But it wasn't like they went there to buy pops for one specific individual. I think money went around almost evenly with everybody. So if everybody wasn't really making that much money, everybody was complaining. Because when I went into the other two smaller conference rooms, I heard people talking about how terrible it was today. You know, oh, this sucks in here. Nobody's buying nothing. Uh, uh. It was like both rooms are saying. It was almost like it was like, the fucking verbal, um, the, the um, the verbal COVID, and in the main room, you know, you know, everybody was walking around complaining. I didn't really complain. I'm just like, hey, I just kept telling people like, yo, you know, I mean, I did good in all these other shows. I would love to do better today, because I was really expecting to sell a lot of this stuff. But every dog has his day, and today I just didn't get the damn bone. You know what I mean? And every, people start laughing. I guess that. Made some people feel good. And this other girl's like, yo, you got a real good positive attitude. Because it seemed like this is like the third show I came to. And I'm and you're always up to good spirit. And I said, well, if somebody don't piss me off, yes, I am. Because she noticed that. And she was like, yeah, I, I, and, and I didn't do good. And I'm, I'm, I was right next to you. And I see you didn't have nowhere near the people or merchandise sell like how I did the last time. Not to say that I'm, I'm in your business. I said, no, 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 I understand. Before she even said, it's not like I'm in your business watching your money. But I understood. So I cut her off and I'm like, yep. I get it. You're right. You know, it wasn't good. It is what it is, but can't cry over spilled milk, man. At the end of the day, you know, crying, bitching, and moaning about something is not going to make people magically appear and put more money in your pocket. So, with that basically being said, um, first dude I, 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 I did business with was the same guy when I first did the, uh, the show in Edison uh, back in the spring. He sold me about 40 or so NECA figures, all complete. I got everything for a steal. So, to, so today, I thought I was going to get a good deal, too. I purposely didn't bring money with me, so I didn't spend money. And I figured, you know what? If I find some stuff I like. Plus, I forgot that I, um, that the guy was coming with the Predator King because he was there um, two weeks um, you know, before, too. And, um, yeah, I forgot. And I was like, ah, fuck it. I'll just... I'll wait to make sales. Oh, excuse me. I'll wait to make sales, and I'll just... You know, pick it up then, but it was so bad that I didn't, I didn't even think about making him an offer or picking up the Predator King. He'll, hopefully, we'll have a next show. So, um, the same dude that I got the NECA stuff from back in the spring, he was there today, and we made a deal. He would not go no lower than what he wanted for the stuff. Let me put it this way. He wanted uh, $15 for everything, but he said, if you buy enough, I would do 10 and whatever so I picked 20 of his best figures that he had in that bin for 10 and 15 but everything I picked wasn't 10 everything I picked was 15 but when you see what it is you, you will say oh yeah I understand why so I'm going to show you guys that and I'm going to show you these two G.I. Joes I got from another guy that was in a lobby leading to the uh, main conference room he wasn't in the best mood I guess somebody pissed him off because um I asked him, um, he had like three G.I. Joe, no, four G.I. Joe's. The other two I didn't want. And he said, oh, yeah, those guys, uh, there's four of them there. Those guys are $10 each. That's it. He said, just like that. And I'm like, okay. And then I had to catch myself. I was like, wait a minute. Did he say that's it, like, aggressively? Like, what the fuck did I do to this old white man? So somebody must have pissed him off. But, again, nobody really made money today. So maybe that's what he was angry about. I don't know. I didn't have to take these guys. I almost didn't. But I didn't want to let him win. 
you know so I picked these two up uh, 20 bucks for the both of them so here you have again I am collect oh I am collecting uh, any o-ring style GI Joe if I can get them real cheap and or thrifting or whatever I'll pick them up at any day of the week um, I do collect 82 to 94 and he is not he is not that this wild bill but being that he is you know he's basically from the same era same build as the uh, real American hero line that's why I collect those guys and he should be worth about $15 by himself you know what I mean and then this uh, monkey wrench he's definitely worth about 20 about 20 bucks by himself that's what I was selling for. I, I picked him up because I think my monkey wrench has a cracked elbow and he has great tight joints, just like mine do, and everything in his arms. I'll see if it is him and I'll just replace, I'll just, you know, replace the either the whole figure and or just the arms. Because mine, the body is in really good, really, really good condition, just like this one. And everything is tight on him. So either way you look at it, I should be able to put him for 20 all day. So basically, he's free, either way you look at it. And obviously, he's going to my collection with guys like these. Well, as you see, this wetsuit I picked up, I think, last week. And I got stuff everywhere here. I had this for a while. This is, I think, one of my figures. And I just want to keep them because he's so dope. And at this time... I wasn't sure if I wanted to collect any or, or keep anything after ninety two um after ninety four. But you got this snow job here. Sorry for the glare. He is white plus that plastic bag don't help. And there's some other figures here. I can't even I don't know where the hell they are, but whatever. So they they're here somewhere hiding. Bastards. So yeah, just to give you guys whatever. Um so yeah. I got that from him. So let's go to these guys. So this bag I forgot his name, but I think it's Mr. Arcade or something like that. I did get one of him at the Edison Toy Show a week or so, whatever damn day it was. Whether it was either Saturday at past or the Saturday before, I don't freaking remember. But him, I should be able to get about fifteen for him. I'm thinking maybe fifteen twenty, but I'm thinking more. I'll say fifteen. I'm gonna put him at fifteen. This rogue, I would definitely do twenty on her all day. So that's two. Gore is definitely 20. So I'm already at $55 right here. And I got $200 into this bag. So three figures at $55. Jenna Jameson, another $20 figure any day of the week. So that's already 70. That's already. Wait, wait, wait. We got 55. 80. Jesus Christ. $80 already, and I'm already on four figures. Her, you know, she don't come with a meal near. I would do 20 on her any day of the week. So, 75 and 20, that's $95. And I'm only at five figures already. Five figures at 90 bucks. Valkyrie, another 20 bucks. So, that's $110 I'm at right now. $110. Star Lord, I will probably put. 15 on him so that's 125 Magneto 20 bucks 145 dollars right there I would do Loki and Lady Loki from the Loki TV TV series show whatever you want to call it I would do 40 bucks for both of them I'll put them in the same bag at 40 so 40 and 1 I already lost count shit 40 and one one forty five, right? Yeah, one eighty five. Scarlet Witch. I don't know if it's from the Wanda Vision show or not, but I'll put twenty on her. So that would be twenty and one eighty five would be two oh five. So I'm already at two hundred and five dollars. So I'm basically five dollars over what I paid for it all. Definitely twenty bucks on him. So that's two twenty-five. I got two Tuscan Raiders. I'll do twenty dollars each on them. So that'll be two sixty-five. 
265. Hammerhead at 15, making it 275. This frog guy, I would do 20 on him. So 20, and that'll be 295. If I said it right, Stanley, 20 bucks. So that'll be 315. I think that's 17 figures, so that'd be 315 already. So I'm already at Yes, yeah, so I'm already at $115 profit. This oh man, I can't think of the name. Uh this uh I would say Iron Man. This Aquaman, I would put 20 on him. That would make it don't matter what it make. Three something, whatever the fuck, it don't matter. I'm over three hundred. Three, I said 315, right? So that would be 335, right? Deceased um, uh, Flash, I'll probably put 25 on him. And Iceman would be... Iceman would be... 20 bucks. So let's say... I'll say four. I'll say 380. So I'm already almost at a $200 advance. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it over. I'm going to do it over. But I'm going to count them first so I don't get confused. So we got here four figures. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So there's ten here. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yep, so 20 of them. So he get, he did me a deal because he charged me, I mean, you know, 20 times 15. So he knocked off five dollars each for me. And he was like, listen, even at the price I'm doing, this is why. This was in a bin between, uh, between 10 and 15. Then he had another bin where everything was this, that. You know different prices, but everything in this bin was ten to fifteen dollars. And of course, everything I picked up, because it was the the best stuff there. This is why they were all fifteen each. But he said, if you buy, you buy, you buy a decent amount. I would do, I would do ten dollars across the board if you take them. So I want to just. I kept going, and I didn't realize how many I had, and it wound up being twenty. And I was like, all right, well, what's the best you could do? He said, all right, well, I counted twenty pieces, two hundred. And I was like, all right, just hold for me for the, to the end of the day. I didn't bring my money with me per on purpose, and he just laughed. And again, if I knew if I knew what I was gonna make, I probably wouldn't have brought this stuff. I mean, actually, I still would have, cause it's, it's definitely worth it. Anywhere where I could take figures and 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 at least I can try to make a hundred dollar profit off of it, it's good. And these things will be sitting for a while, cause I'm gonna be hold. I'm gonna be I'm gonna bag and tag this stuff and just put these things in bins with other stuff. So it's worth it. So that's the reason why I did that. And again, I just basically broke down the prices. So I got 20 pieces here. Uh, he wanted 15 each on everything I picked. And it's not like he did it like, all right, well, fuck it. I know he's going to pay. And he takes the good shit. So nah, that's just the way it was. It was in a 10 to $15. And the reason why he had other figures in there for 10 because if you saw them, you see why he was asking 10 And even at $15 for these is pretty cheap. Because I think there's only two or three figures in here that I would actually sell for 15 Everything else in there, um, I, I should be able to get double what I pay for each. So that's pretty good. And again, there's 20 of them. So I'm going to break it back down with you guys again. I'm going to try to do this to where I don't disturb my uh, my keyboard and in this video. Because I just did that. I was up here talking for 45 minutes. And what, I, I already did another video and the stuff fell and it hit my keys. And I was pissed off, so I decided to do the video over and, you know, whatever. All right, so we already counted 20, but I paid 200 for 20. Again, you know, 20 times 10, 200. So again, these guys, I'm going to put Tuscan Raiders, I'm going to put $20 a piece on them. Somebody will probably offer me 15 anyway, but as of right now, you know what? I, I should do it that way. I should do that way because that way I can put more money and I'll probably be at the real cost what I'll get anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and put, I'm going to say 15. So that's 30 bucks. 
These definitely 20 all day. That I know for a fact. So 20 and 20 across the board on these. So you got 30 and uh, 40, 70 bucks. Stan Lee is a $20 bill all day. So that's 90. Iceman is another 20, so that's 110. Jane Foster, even without her meal near and stuff, she's already 20. So what was that? Oh, shit. Uh, I'm tired too. So we're at 30 and 40 is 70. 70 and 40 is 110. One, yeah. So 20, that's 130. Another 20 for solid witch. Fuck. I hate when I get tired because then I, I start dropping shit and being diabetic don't help. So 130 and 20 or whatever the fuck I was at. I'm not going to go back. So that's to say 150. Hammerhead, 15. So that's 165. This frog guy. 20 it don't matter I, I, I'm tired y'all I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna keep going back and forth here it don't fucking matter I am I am extremely exhausted I should have been asleep I had a tiring weekend and you know my diabetes is acting up a little bit cause I'm I am a little achy and tired so bear with me here I, I'm not gonna go I'm not gonna keep going through this especially considering that I don't get the views I should or the comments so fuck it so yeah, that's the stuff I picked up, and I showed you guys a shirt that came in the mail that I uh, I got from uh, from uh, the crew, from from Seth and them. Um, you know, I think they're trying to do something big, and you know, again, support you know support them, and you know, buy one of those shirts to help support whatever they're doing, and they're good people, and I've always I've always everything I've ever come up here and said, whether people find me being dramatic or whatever, I always try to come up here on YouTube and help others. Because others help me, whether they do it directly and or indirectly. So that's why I do what I do. It's just that, you know, being that I'm a black person, I, I'm a very aggressive person. I'm an alpha male. So I can come up. Some people say I, I'm arrogant. I'm a narcissist. Whatever the fuck. That's just a whole bunch of negativity and people just mad because either A, they don't have the funds to get this stuff. And or whatever, for whatever fucking reasons. I'm not arrogant. I just say shit for what it is. And that may rub people the wrong way. Whatever. Maybe that's why I don't get the views I get because I don't I don't kiss ass like everybody like so many other people do. I don't I don't know. I really don't care. Um, it is what it is. I, I'm gonna continue doing what I do, and even though I don't get no views and no comments, I still do my videos because I do it because it's something I enjoy doing. And this I did a trade. I had a box. I had a, a box of six or a case a case of six Funko Pops that I traded this one dude that I that I um. That I know from the toy shows. And um, yeah. We did a deal on this stuff. And I, I came $30 out of my pocket. So basically today I spent. Uh, $240. On stuff. Because I gave. This dude. I gave this guy. Um, well, this is not included. This is mine. I took, out, I took out one of my bins. So I came $30 out of my pocket with him. The twenty dollars for the two GI Joes from old cranky guy, and then the two hundred from this guy. That I guess at the end of the day, he finally decided that he thought I was gonna leave without paying for the stuff. So I, I had to keep telling him, I said, "I got you. Just let me finish doing what I'm doing." Cause he didn't say nothing, but his facial expression is like, "Is this guy trying to leave?" Knowing that I held this stuff for him, but you know, whatever. But I, I brought it and I keep my word anyway. So. I forgot her name, but she's like the wilder or whatever from the Mandalorian. This is the way. So, got her. Got this guy. From the Bad Batch, I got him. I got this guy as well. Sorry for the clear. Then I got these two troopers. I think I think one's a purge trooper and the other one's a death trooper. Whatever the hell, it doesn't matter. But I grab both of those. This is stuff I'm gonna be holding on to. So then uh, from bad, I got three from Bad Batch and then um, the, the little girl. I forgot her name.
Then in here we got two, two both of the females from the Mandalorian show. I already I forgot I, I'm so tired I forgot the names, but you can see them both there. And I got these two troopers also. Got him there and oh, this guy here. So there's 13 figures all together. And then the the big the big hitters of the of the bunch. Commander Cody and shit. These guys are a little pricey. So I took all this stuff. Um yeah. Thirteen of these guys. And yeah, that was all I got today. You know, um, I walked around, and to be honest, nobody had anything I wanted neither. Like I did walk around, except for the guy Frank. I finally remember his name. I think his wife's name was Dee Dee. Dee Dee and Frank, the guy who had the uh, the Predator King that he had that he had when I first started going to the toy shows a year ago. He still has it. He's not getting rid of it. Um, Hopefully next toy show, I'll take it off his hands because I want it. But you know, a lot. Of, I guess some people don't want to pay three hundred for it, but they don't realize that it goes for more than three hundred. But I understand it. That's why he keeps taking it to the show. Uh, hopefully he didn't sell it, and uh, hopefully I'll be able to pick it up. You know what I mean? Because I need a Predator King. I like having like all the G one combiners. I like trying to have one. I mean, two of of all of them. To have them all in combined mode and then have them all in individual robot mode. That was always something I wanted to do with the, with uh, with all of the, uh, what's it called? Except for the cities like Omega Supreme. Unless I get stuff real cheap and or out of a storage unit, which that most likely ain't going to never happen. I never get that lucky with toys. Um, never. I don't think it's meant for me. That, that's never going to happen. You know, um... But yeah, except for Omega Supreme, Trypticon, you know, those guys, no, because they're cities and shit. Yeah, I don't have that room. I barely got room now. But anyway, you know, thanks for watching. I'm going to cut this video short because it should have been about 20, about 15 or so minutes shorter than this. All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. Please like, sub, share, and, and comment. And again, to the people down, my, my people's down in Florida, to the, the OG of Geeks, Mike, Seth, Humpty with two M's. Good old bits and buttons, Dom to um, and of course you know diamond, you know the, the diamond in the rough, diamond Dave, and all you guys. Peace, love, and hair grease. And I brought this shirt to support. So please spread the word and subscribe to me and get others to do so. And hopefully everything work out. You know, thanks for the shirt. The shirt is huge, but great quality. And I brought the two X because I just automatically assume I'm like a 36 waist, 36, 34, depending on the cut. Um, so, you know, that 2X is huge. I don't, again, I got it because I thought it was a, a regular slim fit, but it's like, a, it's more of a baggy, big and tall type fit, which is good. So for anybody out there who's looking to buy the shirt, just be forewarned. Again, if you are uh, 46 to like 42, you might want to get a 1X. Well, actually, maybe 46, you want, this would probably be the right size for you, but I, I think more like 44 to maybe 40. I would go with a 1X. And from like 40 to like 38, I would say a large. Maybe even up to 34. And then like 34 to 32. And obviously, you might want to go with a medium. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching, you guys and girls out there. Peace, love, and hair grease. Stay safe. Peace.